A while back during the Assassin's Creed Mirage reveal, we made a video on this channel. It was basically everything we know about Assassin's Creed Mirage so far. A lot of you really liked that video. There's been a lot of support for the Assassin's Creed videos. I know not all of them are seen when I upload them, but I really do appreciate it. It's a topic I really enjoy and something I want to continue talking about going forward. And a few days ago, there was some leaked gameplay of Assassin's Creed Mirage. I actually opted to not cover it. Uh, because I kind of learned my lesson on leaks. I know that a lot of the bigger channels can do whatever they want and get away with them. For me, I've noticed that publishers usually use them to bully my channel and give me copyright strikes because I don't have the money for, you know, huge lawyers and stuff. Um, so I kind of just try and avoid those a lot of times. Sometimes I'll talk about them on Twitter. But finally, we got the official release of the Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay trailer the other day at the PlayStation Showcase. And I thought it was very interesting. It's something I want to talk about for just a couple minutes. So if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. We will be covering more Assassin's Creed in the future. We also cover things like Fallout, James Bond, DC Comics, Marvel Comics, Spider-Man, Batman, and, you know, all kinds of stuff, okay? So, moving into it, I'm gonna show a combination of the gameplay trailer along with the original reveal of the game and some other stuff to kinda give you enough footage to look at. But we had been told before that the Unity, I guess I would say gameplay style of parkour was sort of coming back with this game. That's what all the reports were. And that is looking very, very much like the case. There's a lot of incorporation in this trailer of almost a combat like unity parkour system where you can pretty much get the drop on enemies by moving silently and very very fluidly across rooftops and over other obstacles i think it's done very very well it's really interesting to see because it's almost a combination of a lot of things we've seen so far it's really hard to tell with the gameplay trailer with all of the dynamic i would say camera angles that they use how much of this stuff is going to look exactly like it does here in the actual game. And what I mean by that is if you've been around the block a few times with gaming, you know that it's very different to receive a trailer than it is to actually receive a game. Uh, there are definitely camera tricks and things you can do with a trailer to change certain things. My general hope is just that the game will come out and be exactly like this except a different camera angle. We will just have to see because some of the interesting things I noticed in here was sort of a greatest hits of gameplay elements and types from many different Assassin's Creed games that we've seen. And you're going to hear me clicking around quite a bit. So like, for example, there appears to be pretty much the stealth I would say crouching system implemented best in Unity and then, you know, Syndicate as well. Um, and obviously you still have that kind of stuff in the RPG games, but it's a little different. It's looking a lot like it's sort of that Syndicate and Unity crouching system for stealth, along with a lot of other things. There's almost a mixture, I would say, of the Assassin's Creed 3 and 4 era cover system, where you kind of get behind an object and you can look around the side of it to see what's going on. Again, that was later, you know, incorporated into later games. That's kind of where it came from. It's sort of looking like that's going to be back as well, because they do show several shots of Bassam looking around corners and doing stuff along with really emphasizing stealth, which is something I really like and I'm really hopeful for in this game, is it really seems like they are really prioritizing stealth gameplay, which for me, you know, I've talked about it before, I enjoy the RPGs. Um, I know a lot of people don't, that's totally fine, but something I really didn't care for as much with them is I don't think that stealth is as prioritized in those games as things like leveling up, getting better gear, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, you can be stealthy, you can use stealth, I'm not saying you can't, but I don't think it's prioritized as much as it used to be, like say in the era of Syndicate, Unity, or even 4, 3, Rogue, you know, back then where there were these stalking zones and then eventually it actually, I would say, evolved into just full on crouching and sneaking around. It really, to me, looks like they're trying to go that direction with this again and kind of I would say move back to a more classic feel I've seen some people say that to them the gameplay still looks Valhalla like and maybe like with the combat I can't really tell because we don't see any UI we don't see anything like that but for me personally 
I thought it more looked like a combination of things like Revelations, uh, I would say, and Assassin's Creed 4 and Unity. You know, kind of like this popping all over the place gameplay style where it was more fluid. Looks like there's a lot of movement and a lot of stabbing and kind of jumping over people. I saw some similar moves to the Revelations hook blade, which is something that I absolutely love. Even though it doesn't appear to be in this game at all, there is kind of that same style of like leaping over the back of an enemy and kind of getting around him and killing him that way. There was also some callbacks to other things as well, not to make everything about revelations, but I thought the rope tackle was really cool. It kind of reminded me a little bit of what happened to Ezio in the very beginning of revelations as well. And there were a lot of things going on that I thought were really, really awesome. Again, you're going to hear me clicking around a little bit. There was also as well a deluxe edition trailer that was unlisted by Ubisoft. I don't really know why, where it showed some of the stuff that is unlockable. So there's like inspired by Prince of Persia stuff that I thought was cool, like a mount, so there's a horse kind of skin. There is also, they're calling them sand skins in this trailer. I don't know, I just thought it was really, really neat. It looks like very mythological, mythical. Something that was a little odd to me with this unlisted one though, this unlisted trailer that I was looking at was that the gameplay rendering was like not very good. Like they didn't upload it in a very good uh, quality. So I'm not sure if that's why they unlisted it is because it got like too compressed or something. And if they're going to re-upload it later, I will have to look around for that. Also, I just looked up the deluxe edition trailer again off uh, off mic just to kind of see if I was, you know, talking on my ass and making sure that there wasn't another version of it. Xbox also uploaded that trailer. Theirs looks like slightly better, just a little different. This doesn't reflect on gameplay at all. I'm just saying I think that when they captured that gameplay, it wasn't like the highest quality fidelity. I'm not sure if that's why they took that trailer down. There is also a lot of uh, drama around Prince of Persia, right? Right now, which these things are inspired by for the deluxe edition because of the whole thing with the remake actually being pretty much scrapped and it looks like it's starting over from scratch. Uh, that thing is kind of a mess, so I'm not sure if that's part of the reason why Ubisoft kind of delisted that. We'll have to see. But overall, I do think that this game is shaping up to look really, really cool. I mean, there's not a lot I see in the original trailer for the gameplay of this that's like off-putting to me or making me worried about the game. It looks very much like it's this sandbox in Baghdad. We do talk a lot about the, I would say, setting and the things that we know for sure confirmed about the game already in our Everything We Know video. Not much has changed other than just getting a glimpse at the real gameplay. But again, you know, will it actually look as good when we play it? Will it be as fluid when we play it? What will it be like on the PS4? That's another question too. I'm playing it, you know, obviously on the next gen because I have that, uh, but a lot of people don't. So I guess my other question too is this is coming out on PS4 and you know, that kind of last generation as well. Will it run well? Will it look good there? Obviously it won't be the same, but will it be good? Or will it just be, you know, a shitty version of the game? That's something I'm a little worried about for those players because I would say a majority of gamers are still on last gen hardware just because of financial stuff or, you know, it being hard to track down, uh, you know, MSRP price consoles that aren't being scalped. Uh, that's been an issue pretty much since their launch. So again, a lot of things to kind of, you know, consider uh, I don't want to like sell you the game off the basis of promises. I don't work for Ubisoft, but I do think that it's actually really cool looking and I'm very hopeful that this is going to be kind of a return to form. You know, like I've said in the past, there is room for both. I understand not everybody has to be a fan of both. I respect that. In the words of Norman Osborne, I respect that. But I do think that there is room for both and multiple styles of Assassin's Creed games. I'm fine with games like Assassin's Creed Chronicles that are a side scroller if they're done well. I'm fine with the RPG style as long as it doesn't replace the original style and make it so that no more of those games come out. That's my problem with the RPG era is not releasing some classic feeling games as well. And I'm fine with the classic coming back. I just want them all to be done well. That's my concern with them. So I'm interested to hear your thoughts down below on if you think this looks good, what your overall thoughts are of it, and what your hopes are for the game. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I appreciate you very, very much. We do have several different channels, including Degenerate Plays, which is our Let's Play channel, where we are currently playing through Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We previously played through Assassin's Creed 2. Then, of course, as well, we also have Magical Jill, 
That's my wife's channel I am also on where we talk about video games, collectibles, and all kinds of other stuff. And we do have The King of Creepy where I narrate horror stories. All these things are in the description down below, along with a lot of different ways to help support the channel if you are interested. Finally, I want to say a huge thank you to some of our channel members and patrons. I'm going to put your names here. I appreciate you very, very much. Have a fantastic day, everyone. All the links are in the description down below if you want to help support the channel and what we do. And as always, stay shway.